Hey guys, it's Rachel at From Moments to Milestones, and today I'm here to put together our newest paper pad card kit from Simple Story Simple Vintage Indigo Garden. Um, this is what the kit looks like if you purchase one. Um, you'll get written instructions with a picture of each card, as well as a list of the supplies that we use to create the kit in the back. Um, this is, these are the seven cards that we're gonna make today. You also get the remainder of the six by eight pad. We usually try to use um, half the pad to create these seven cards, and then you get the remainder and some scraps. So that's always fun. And you could recreate these cards again or make some designs of your own. So let's get started with this one here. This one's called Happy Day. Yeah. You have some little flowers and pieces in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is fussy cut this butterfly. And so there's a lot of detail in this butterfly on the edges. I'm actually just going to make a smooth cut around and I'm going to take off his antennas too because I don't want to fuss with cutting those. And I'm actually not even going to cut his body. You know, he has this long, thin body. I'm actually just going to lop that off too. Nobody's going to know. And save myself some headaches with the fussy cutting. So it looks like that. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color to it. Darken it up a little bit. So in the instructions, I wrote down the wrong color. Your instructions say mustard seed, which I'm sure would work as well. But this is fossilized amber, so it's a little bit deeper of a color and I'm just going to start in the center and do a circle and lightly pull my dauber up as I go around that circle and so he's dark around his body and he lightens up around the edges so it looks like that and then I'm also going to take some black soot and just go around the edges and that's because I did the fussy cutting and this paper has a white core so this will hide my imperfections in my fussy cutting. Okay, just a small detail. You can leave it off if you want. Um, the other thing I did to the butterfly, um, which I think I'll do at the end, is we put on all these little black dots there, we put some glitter just to jazz it up a little bit. So you can do that now or later. I'm gonna wait. And then we have these um, Spellbinders florals here. So you have three white ones, and I am going to use some pumice stone. Whoops. And I am going to just touch the edges of each petal. All right. And then we have the centers for these flowers, and they are cut out of yellow paper. And so all these papers that we used here are from the 12 by 12 solids that match the Simple Stories collection. Takes the guesswork out of matching cardstock. So I'm just going to take that fossilized amber and just go around the edges of those centers. Just adds a little dimension. One more thing to ink here and then those will go in the centers of those and then the other thing I did is rustic wilderness and I am going to um, kind of hold it here and just kind of just get the the end near the stem All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on these larger ones. Oops. Like so. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue down those flower centers. All 
All right. And I will set this all off to the side for now while we build up the rest of our card. So on a lot of these, I ink the edges with black soot just to, um, I don't know, kind of distresses a little bit. So you can skip that step if you want. I am going to go ahead and do that quickly. Four card, I did not do the doily. I think that one would be fine without it. All right. So now we can put this together. So we're going to start with this dark blue, almost looks black paper. Make sure my card's open the right way. And we're going to put that down. And then you have this um, blue gingham piece. I will say that in your instructions, um, if you're looking at your instructions, let me just grab that real quick. My original card had yellow gingham and I decided to change it to blue and I forgot to take a new picture. So anyway, if you're wondering why that doesn't look the same, that's why. So I'm going to put the blue and it's going to go, it's going to have an equal border on both the sides and the top and the bottom. And then we're going to put on the doily. Now it's going to go up towards the top and it's going to hang off the edge. You can see on this sample, I have the doily um, with the edge of the blue. So I'm just going to take a pencil and kind of mark the two places and then I can put that in my trimmer or use scissors, which is what I'm going to do and make a brave cut with my scissors. And then that's going to go down like that. I'm just going to put a little, oh, well, well, we're just going to hide that. So I'm going to put that like so. My cut was not so straight. There we go. It's mostly going to be covered, so I think I'll use wet glue this time. They're very delicate. Just match that up. And no one is ever going to know. Perfect. All right. So this piece here, I do have this popped up. I'm going to grab some foam squares. And then this is going to come slightly down and you'll see a little bit of that doily at the top and the sides. All right. And now we're going to build up our flowers around this. So I do have this one popped up. I'm going to get a smaller foam square and just put one in the center. And then I'm going to put that flower right there. I still want to see that little butterfly, so I'm going to cover him up all the way. And then these, and actually, because I'm going to tuck them in there, I think I'm going to trim off those long stems. And then I can just tuck them in the way I want. I have one there. And one there, like so. And then these two are also popped up. and then the little butterfly. So I'm going to, I like to kind of bend it up like so, and then I create kind of a little, so you see where the body is flat. I'm trying to see if I can, and I'm just gonna put adhesive there and then I'll put foam on the edges of the butterfly so it kind of looks like he's sitting on there. So 
I'm going to do this first. And he's right on the edge. And then put my flowers like so. And then I'm going to tuck in the leaves. I think I'm going to do that same thing. Cut off the little stems. And then tuck them in. There's one. And the other. All right. And then the last thing I need, I'm get some little thin, well, actually, what we need to do here, so on this butterfly, since this panel is popped up and he's sitting on there, and if I want his, his wings to pop up, I need to put a double layer of foam, if that makes sense. If you're not a fan of double layer, you can just leave it as is or just tuck in a piece of foam behind there so at least it's the same height as that panel. So what I'm going to do is... Peel off one of those, stick this on top. Now I have a very tall one, and I'm going to put it right there. And now my leaf, or my leaf, my wing sticks up. So I'll put one down, pull off the backing, put another one right on top. And there he is. All right, so that card's complete. Um, the only other step would be to add the glitter if you choose. All right, our next card is just wanted to say thank you. And there are some little bitty leaves and flowers in here, so you want to be careful with this one. All right, let's go ahead and start with those just to get them out of the way. So you should have six leaves and three flowers, and then these are yellow on the other side, those centers. And I did use some pumice stone again, or black, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use pumice, hmm. maybe it was black. Oh yeah, just a little though. Just a little bit. I'm barely touching my dauber to it because my dauber is very inky. All right, and then that same thing on the leaves. They are tiny. All right, and then I'm going to put those three yellow centers. Oops, my glue is acting up. Three yellow centers on those flowers. be ready to go and then you have two butterfly bodies so one of them we are going to snip off for our shorter butterfly so this bottom portion this longer portion of his little body we're just gonna take that off and toss it and we'll use this on our little butterfly and this on our larger so then you have both of these, they both need fussy cut, so I'll do that quickly. Okay, I have both of those butterflies cut out, and then um, I'm gonna jazz them up a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I just have a white colored pencil, and I'm just gonna color in lightly, put some white down in some of these areas. You could do it on all of them if you want. I'm trying to mimic that butterfly up here. I have some lighter blue, so however you want to do it. Did this one too. 
And I'm being careful not to go over the black line because then it, it will color right over that. All right, and then on this one, kind of the same thing. All right, and then I'm going to take the black soot and the dauber again, and it's I'm just going to take down the brightness a little bit. So I'm going to do that same. And I'm going right over that blue. I'm just going to try to tone it down a little bit. And I am going to go around the edges in case my fussy cutting wasn't perfect. I'll hide my imperfections. I'm going to do the same thing on this little guy. little touch is going to be a white gel pen all right and I'm just going to go in and add some polka dots on the edges all right and then I'm going to do that again here I'm going to put a couple there. All right. Set those aside to make sure they're dried. All right. And so now we'll put the rest of the card together. So before I do that, I'm not going to ink this, but I'm going to ink everything in the black ink again. All right, so now let's put the card together. So we're gonna put this big floral scene down. That is gonna go like so. All right, and then the doily. I'm gonna use wet glue this time. And we're just going to cover up that what's already there. So just center it over what's already there. And I'm going to flip it over and cut that off. All right. And I'll go ahead and glue down the edges of my doily. you have this pink circle and so we're going to put it on like so and it is just glued straight down just centered on that doily there trim off the excess all right so now we can come in with our butterflies Actually, let's glue the bodies on here and there. The longer one's going to go here, and the shorter one on this little butterfly. All right. And so, what I've done is kind of that same. I'm going to pull the leaves up or the leaves, I don't know why I keep calling them leaves, the wings, <laughs> okay. So they're gonna look like that. And what I like to do is put um, foam on the back of the wings. So 
So I'm going to put it here and there, just on the edges. And I'm not going to put it on the bottom because I'm going to put this over the top. And then I'm going to glue them down. So we have them coming right here. Push everything down. Actually, I did not pull the backing off of those. All right, and then this piece here is going to get popped up as well. So that's going to go like that. And then we'll put this little guy on. We're going to do the same thing with the wings. I'm going to cut that in half because these wings are smaller. And up there, there. this one on here just making sure his wings are still on the card mine went a little off there all right and so the last step is going to be to layer up our flowers so I have a large and a small over here and the other ones over there and each um, flower has a couple leaves so however you want to do that and I did pop this one up, so it is very small. So I need to cut one into fourths. So like that, and then I'm going to tuck the leaves behind. There's different size. You should have, I think, three of each size. So I'm going to use two big ones on that one. And then I'm going to glue that one down. Let's see. There. And then I need the two leaves I'm going to tuck in there. I actually might put those down so that the glue catches them. Sometimes it's easier to glue these to the back of the flower, which I think is what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to pick it up like that, and I'm going to put the other one on, and then I can glue all that down together. There we go. And then I want the leaves going that way. Perfect. Well, maybe not perfect. some glue on and there we go and then the last one here I'm going to glue the leaves to the back and then that one's going to go up there I kind of want to see the detail on the wings, but there we go. All right, and that card is complete. All right, our next card is Thank You, this pretty gold butterfly. And I guess we can go ahead and put together some of our little our butterfly and our flowers, and then we can put the whole thing together.
All right. So for the butterfly, I'm going to take that fossilized amber again and do the little circle in the center. Give them some variation in color, like so. And then we're going to glue that body on there. So I only glued the body in the center because I wanted my leaves to, or my, my wings, goodness gracious, to pop up. So you could also like put some thin foam and keep them up if you wanted. I'm just going to leave it like so and then I'm going to put the body on. All right. And then you have these three tiny white daisies. You have the four leaves, which are green on the other side, and then you have the strip, which is blue on one side and yellow on the other. What I'm going to do with this is cut three little rectangles or squares. That one might be too big, actually, so let's try another one. About like that and we are going to glue them to the back of these flowers so that our flowers have a center. If you don't mind your flowers not having a center, you can skip this part. Whoops, wrong piece, there we go. All right, and then you do have these leaves and these are super tiny. So if you wanna skip what I'm about to do, you can do that as well. I am gonna add that little bit of green to them. They're so little. All right. And then the way I did it is one of my leaves has um, no leaves. No, one of my flowers has no leaves. And these two each get one of each. So let's hold on to this. Some glue on the back. There's one. Just like we did on the last card, we're going to pick this one up too, like so. All right. I'm going to set those off to the side and now we can build up the rest of our card. I did no inking on this one, so we're just going to glue the green paper straight down. All right, then you should have a thin green polka dot strip, and that is going to go at the top. And then we have this, it's yellow on the back. This very pretty green floral, the yellow butterflies. And it is gonna go about three eighths of an inch from the top, like so. And then one thing I said in class is that really this thank you is going to go down here. So if you want to use this as a placeholder before you put this floor on, you can do so. All right. But what I'm going to do is put a very thin bead of glue and then put one of these gold um, 
strips and kind of butt it right up to that paper. I'm going to do that same thing down here and get my glue going. Okay. Oops. All right, so it looks like that. And then in your kit, you should have this um, thank you. It would be solid white, and it is a double-sided foam adhesive um, that we die cut so that your um, thank you can stand up. I did not cut that for my kit, apparently, and that's okay. So I can either um, cut up some foam strips and pop it up, or I could just leave it. Um... I think I'm just going to leave it today. So if you don't want to fuss with it, it's very sticky. It wasn't everybody's favorite. So the think, go there first. You. And mine's going to slightly touch the gold. That's okay with me. All right. And then the little butterfly is going to go there. And I'm just going to glue him straight on. No foam. And I kind of have him turn to the left slightly. And then see those wings kind of pop up. Or you can glue it all the way down if you prefer. And then these little flowers are just going to kind of go in a grouping down here. So I have one on top. All right. And then one kind of tucked under there a little bit. And then the last one. Like so. All right. That card is complete. Okay, our next card is Sending Hugs. Just have a couple little butterflies to fussy cut again. All right, I have both those butterflies cut, and I'm just going to ink the edges to cover up my cutting. All right. And then, actually, I did ink the edges of everything. All right, let's put our card together. So we're gonna start with the dark blue. All right, then the yellow gingham, and it just gets centered. this green is kind of off to the side. And then this little blue piece, I actually think I have a cut too long, so I'm going to snip it off. And the easiest way to do that for me right now, because I don't have my cutter, is to line it up. Get a straight edge of scissors. Okay. So then that piece, it's going to slightly overlap that. And it just kind of grounds those cards so they're not just floating. Well, if that doesn't make sense to you, you can leave it off. 
I'm just going to line it up to the edge of the yellow like so. And then this piece is going to sit over the top. Now I did something uh, kind of different here. I put a foam square. I put a couple here and then I'm going to put, cut a, put a couple in the other. And so, and then everything else I'm going to glue down and it just raises the edges, but you could pop the whole thing up or pop none of it up. It's up to you. Sometimes adding something like this seems silly, but those, the shadows that are created by that dimension is just another layer. All right, so the other thing I did to this was I added glitter around these polka dots. I actually think I'm gonna go back to that white gel pen. If I can find what I did with it. And just add to what's already there. And I'm really just going inside each of those little dots that are already there. Yeah, I like that better actually than the glitter. And then um, I'm gonna do the same thing on this little guy here. I'm just gonna set it aside to dry though because it takes a little bit. All right, I think those are dry now. I can touch them. And I'm gonna put just some adhesive like that again. And then I'm gonna put glue on the center of the body and the bottoms again, just like we did in the previous one. All right, and I'm gonna put it right over that um, butterfly that's already there. All right, and then we need a strip of foam for the sentiment. And where that thankful for you was on there, we're just gonna cover that up with the sending hugs. All right, and then this last little butterfly. Put up here. Hold that down. And then if you want to slide some foam in there, you can. And that card is finished. All right, our next card. Thank you. Just wanted to say you're the best. And I'm going to start with uh, cutting out these butterflies. All right, I have both those butterflies cut out. I didn't worry about his antenna, and I shortened up his body like I did before. Um, I'm going to take the uh, oxide ink and just go, or this is oxide. I actually would have preferred to have the distress ink, but that's okay. Um, the oxide lays on top of the paper, so you can see how it um, tones down the black, which is fine. But I kind of wanted to see the black. So I just went on the edges. I'm gonna do that on both. And then I'm also going to just go over it with the black, um, really to cover up my edges and it'll blacken up the edges again. So if you have um, pumice stone distress ink, I seem to have misplaced mine. Um, that would be a good choice. Then you won't lose the blackness of your 
butterflies. All right. So those are done, and then these are going to go in the centers, but I'm going to wait to do that until I put my card together. So um, on this card, um, we did a little bit different technique for distressing, so I'm not going to use ink. You could if you wanted. But I'm going to use my scissors, and I've already started this one, and I'm just going to run it along the edges. So they make tools for this as well. There's several companies that have distress tools. You could use sandpaper or nail file, whatever you're comfortable with. All right, I distressed all the edges, and then I have one last thing to do here. So you have your, your sentiment and one big long strip, and I'm just going to cut it apart. So find your halfway point in between and snip, in between snip, and then if you want, I'm going to do that same thing. All right, so now we're ready to put the card together. So I'm going to take this dark blue. Put it on to the white card base. Then you have the floral strip. It goes over here, so it's an equal border on all sides. Have this blue gingham. I'm going to place that a little to the side. And all this is straight down, no foam. Now, this little sentiment three by four. little paper pieces everywhere. All right. And I'm going to put my butterfly on. Put a couple foam squares. And go up here. And the little butterfly, I'm just going to glue straight down. And then, this is kind of a string of pearls. So you want to cut them apart where you have two together and three together. And then I'm going to pick up the three. They should come, well those didn't, they should come off in a string of three, but if they don't, you're still going to put three in a row. All right, and then the other two, we're going to go on the smaller body. So, and then lastly, we have those three sentiment strips. So I'm going to put foam on the back of those. All right, so I have foam on the back of those, and I'm going to cover up this You Bloom with Grace. So I'm going to start with Thank You. I'm just going to go right over them, and I have mine kind of um, kind of cockeyed. You have some room to play. Just wanted to say. All right. That card is complete. Okay, our next card is heart with heartfelt condolences. And this card has some fussy cutting to do. So um, you should have these four scraps, and you are going to need to cut out this pink flower, this yellow, this pink, and these two butterflies. And then you can see I left some of the leaves on the flowers, whatever was easy to cut. And I'm just going to follow along the line the best that I can, and then 
we are going to ink the edges to cover up any imperfections in our cutting. So I will get these cut out and I'll be back. I did want to pop in here and say that on this particular flower, the yellow, I'm going to cut this greenery piece as well as this one. And then this I'm going to cut out on its own, but we're going to use it right in here. So just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Okay, I'm cutting this last butterfly and I wanted to say that um, both these butterflies have like big eyes on top of their body. I'm actually going to cut those away if you don't want to try to fuss with cutting those out. You can see I'm just going to cut around them and round off the top of the body and no one will be the wiser and you don't have to try to cut out tiny little circles. Okay. So I have all those cut out and now we're just going to put our card together. Before I do that, I did ink everything in black. So I'm going to do that quickly. And this last little leaf here. All right. So we will start by putting down the white. And then the pink goes down in the center with the heartfelt condolences at the top. And then we are going to line up the flowers. So this one has an edge already and we're just going to go ahead and glue that one straight down. This, this pink one here, we're just going to snip the edge off so it's kind of falling off the page like this pink one. And then this one we're going to pop up and it's going to set right over the center. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip off a straight line. There's no, just maybe a quarter of an inch if that off. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that down. All right, so it looks like that. And so then I'm gonna put foam on that. And then you have this one piece that um, we cut here. And actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that not so obvious that I cut the flower out of that so it looks more natural. Or you could have that part sticking out, which is maybe what I'm going to do. So I'm going to place that first before I stick down the other. I'm just going to play with that. I like the darker better. So like so. And now I'm going to put some foam on that. right over the top and then we have this butterfly so I'm going to bend up the wings a little and I'm going to tuck it right here so I'm going to put a little strip of foam actually I think I'm going to cut a a foam square in half And then I'm going to stick it right here where those, right there where that meets or where there's a little dip there. And I'm going to set that butterfly right on top, like so. And then if you want to keep those wings up, obviously you can put some more um, foam down. And I'm just going to leave them like so. And then I'm going to do that same thing again. This time I'm going to put a foam square on the back of each one. And he's gonna I'm gonna try to keep them inside the card if I can. There we go. 
And that card is finished. All right, we have one more card here, a slimline card. Happy birthday. And you should have some jewels in there, so you don't want to lose those. You should have, I believe, three sets. All right, this one's gonna go together pretty quick. I will say that in my example, if the light is catching, you'll notice on these white flowers that I, I actually used a glue pen and the same gold embossing powder that I used on Happy Birthday and embossed those flowers. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, it warped my paper really bad um, and I just really didn't wanna do that to everybody's. I mean, I put tons of glue and really made an effort to make it look flat, but I decided maybe that wasn't best for kidding. So um, you can use your gems inside these flowers if you wish. You could use gold glitter, prisma glitter, or prills would also be good here, or you can leave it alone. So I just kind of wanted to give that little disclaimer. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. So this, Piece, really we just cut a six by eight down and then I trim so there was just blue on both edges and then when we center it that pattern will continue with the white stripes and you aren't really going to notice that the paper is shorter all right now you can see that maybe I'm going to trim that Now you can't notice that that is paper, you know, that the paper ends there. But we are going to put, you should have two thin gold strips and kind of like we did on the thank you card earlier, we're gonna put them at the top and the bottom of this paper. I'm gonna trim off the excess on that one. And then we'll do this one. All right. Beautiful. Just gonna trim though, they're just a little long. Now that matches up, and then we have our happy birthday. And that is gonna go right here, kinda in that little opening. And then I pop mine up on foam, so I'm gonna get some foam strips and, or maybe some foam squares. All right, so I got the foam on and the backings removed, so I'm gonna put the birthday down. I'm happy on top of that, and it kinda uh, lines up along the right side, like so. And then you have these jewels, so I have them down here at the bottom. Well, actually I have one of each size, so I'm gonna put one up here. And then we got the medium size. Where's my tweezers? And then the tiniest ones here. All right, so in little groups of three. And then like I said, at this point, if you wanna add some glitter or um, prills, I'm actually gonna try the prills. To, let me see if this is a good match to the gold. Yeah, let's, let's try it and you can see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna put glue. There's a center there, there. 
in there. Sprinkle the curls on. Shake it off. And I'll do the same here. Oh yeah, I like that. Sometimes you need to let them sit for a minute so they can stick. All right, and that card is finished. So there you can see the difference with the prills versus the gold embossing powder. I do like the gold embossing powder, but you do have to be careful that it doesn't warp your paper. It's very thin paper and easily warped. All right, that finishes up our cards and this video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you're interested in purchasing a kit, you can find us at www.frommomentstomilestones.com and look under our kits. And there you'll find this particular one is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Indigo Garden. So thanks so much for watching. We will talk to you next time.